So I got a piece of 3 16th inch, maybe quarter inch, yeah, it's more like 3 16th inch aluminum rod. I filed down a chisel point on it. Got a piece of uh, dowel left over from another project. And we're going to make us a tactical self-defense letter opener. My kid argued with me that any weapon carried strictly for self-defense role in Vermont was illegal. According to Google, I don't know how accurate it is, it says no. Again, it only tells you if you point a gun at somebody in a non-self-defense situation, then it's illegal. Crimes and criminal procedure, homicide. You can read the information here. You have the right to protect yourself from somebody attempting to commit murder, sexual assault, aggravated sexual assault, burglary, robbery, with force or violence, or if you're a police officer is trying to suppress a re a rebellion or riot, serving legal process, all the other crap. I don't know why police officers in the military always get special exceptions. Okay, today we are making a tactical self-defense letter opener. Started off with a piece of dowel. I wish it was hardwood, but all I could find at the local hardwood store, hardware store, was some soft dowel. I don't know what kind of wood this is. And then I had an old piece of aluminum. I think this is 3 16 inch rod stuck around from an old ham radio antenna I had to fix. So I kind of put it on a file. I don't think that thing's showing the tip. I just kind of chiseled it down to a tip. Or I wrapped my thumb around the end, stabbed it in, and it would penetrate cardboard. So if it's going to penetrate cardboard, it'll open the letter, and it will work in self-defense mode. Let me show you. We're going to take the aluminum rod. I drill the hole, insert it into the wood dowel. It's not perfect. It's off on an angle, but oh well. It's a letter opener, which can also be used for self-defense. We have the little tip which will pierce the envelopes and go in and it goes around my thumb and give it some force tactical self-defense letter opener you don't know when this thing might save your damn life so anyways I'm gonna pop that out of there put some two-part epoxy on the end of that thing put it in there let it dry and uh, we'll call it done I'm gonna stir it up with a part of the uh, aluminum rod that's gonna go into the handle so I'll just coat that rod with all that two-part epoxy, slide in the handle, and we'll be right back. Okay, I got that into there. You know what? I may coat around the end of the wooden dowel with some of that epoxy as well. Might as well reinforce the outside of the dowel. So here we go. Put some epoxy around that thing. Epoxy's dripping everywhere. That's okay. Just going to add some reinforcement to it. That's all. So anyways, let me let the tactical self-defense letter opener dry and cure and we'll be back when she's done definitely would not want to be stuck by that tactical self-defense letter opener there you go it's all done all completed and it works quite well man I'm impressed crazy about Vermont is Vermont says that if you're carrying any weapon strictly for self-defense designed for self-defense carried for self-defense then it's illegal so hey Here's my self-defense screwdriver. Put it in my hand like that. I have to use it for self-defense. That would hurt. That would deter somebody. It's going to be a hit and run <laughs> type of scenario. Um, but you hit somebody in the right spot, it may uh, disable them. But you know, what's to say that you need a tactical self-defense, uh, you know, letter opener? Anything next to you will work to save your life in a life and death situation. So anyways, adapt and overcome as the Marines would say. Hoping a little bit of blue painter's tape over the epoxy in the last final moments of it drying puts a little texture, a little grip into the handle portion for me. Thank you for viewing. Like and share. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification for future videos. Some days I put out several videos a day. Most times I keep one in reserve for tomorrow, so there's always at least one video from me. And please check us out on Patreon, 
BitChute and Subscribe Star. Thank you.